everybody, this is Lana. I'm just a little bit happy. Today we are going to do this. It is a 20 by 30. And it is a Halloween dragon with pumpkins. He has 15 bags of beads. We are working on number two now. I just did number one. This is what he'll look like when he is done. Okay, better. Isn't he cute? He's going to be for my grandson's wall. So now we're working on, we did G, now we're working on letter C, which is actually number two, which is actually the color 208. And it's purple, obviously. Okay, so we're going to start. I hate that. That's going to have to go off. I can't see when that light is on. When that light is on, it becomes difficult for me to be able to see. So, here we go. I'm going to turn this thing a little bit more so you can see what I'm doing. Yes, you are. I want y'all to know that my friend Patsy from Lady Silver Blue Dragon Budget will start cancer treatment on the 17th. I hope everyone will keep her in their prayers. She needs it. Yeah. I'm worried for her. Cancer is a scary thing. And it ain't the first time I've seen it and felt the effects of it. My father uh, had cancer he got from Vietnam with the Agent Orange. And I know that's just a tad bit different than lung cancer and this kind of cancer and that kind of cancer. But anyway, my uh, several in my family have died of cancer. Anyway, please keep my sister Patsy from Lady Silver Blue Dragon Budget in your prayers. As I said, she starts cancer treatment on the 17th. And if you could, please go over and check out her channel on YouTube, Lady Silver Blue Dragon Budget. I will link it in this description. Coming to check on him, but you're in there. <laughs> anyway. Oh, goodness gracious. Where are the rest of my seedings? Is everybody ready for Halloween? What do you think about the fall weather? Do you have any fall weather where you're at? It went from being like 110 in shade, and it's been 65 all week long down here. I live in Arkansas, as y'all know. I'm in the River Valley, and it has been glorious outside. I love the fall weather. I think fall and spring are my favorite time of the year. Now, I do like winter, and I do like snow, but we don't get enough of it here to... Um, Leave an impression. I lived in Alaska for three years, and I lived in Colorado Springs for three years, so it's kind of like, yeah, we don't have enough snow, and people around here can't drive in it anyway, so, uh, I did get my front porch decorated for the, for Halloween, um, I think I did put a video up of it. About to put up a new one because I added a couple things to it. Um, if you want to, you can comment and leave pictures of uh, how you decorated your porch. 
in my comment section. I would love to see your pictures. Um, or anything else that you're doing for uh, Halloween that you might want to show me or tell me about. I did have a thing I wanted to read if I can find where I put it. Not really sure where I put it. Actually, I do know where I put it. There's something I read on the internet. Where did it it? Where do I stick it? It's about Halloween. So I'm going to read it to you. As soon as I find where I put it. There it is. It was titled, Shit You Didn't Know About Halloween. Okay. October 31st, 1926. Harry Houdini, the famous magician and escape artist, died of patronatus, a secondary ruptured appendix. October 31st, 1938. Orson Welles broadcasted his radio play, H.G. Wells, The War of the World, causing panic in some parts of the United States causing some listeners to actually believe aliens were invading. October 31st, 1961. The Soviet Union tested the hydrogen bomb to Tsar Bomba, the most powerful explosive to ever be detonated, and it caused an unsettling backdrop for the holiday. I just thought I'd share that little bit of info. I didn't know any of that. So... I didn't know any of it. I don't know how many people do know any of that. So I just thought I'd share it with you. Let's go on over here and get these other C's. Gonna be a purple dragon. Purple's my favorite color, as most of y'all know. Ordered some purple pens on T Mood the other day, and for some reason I thought they were gonna have purple ink inside of them, but alas, they did not. I was a little sad. I wanted a purple ink pen, but that's okay. I got some purple pens nonetheless. Wasn't as purple as I wanted it to be, was it? Remember back when we could go on hay rides and stuff like that when it was Halloween, Thanksgiving, and fall and stuff like that? People just don't do that anymore. <laughs> I miss the olden days. I miss hay rides. I miss going to old time school Halloween parties where you actually had Duncan booths and they'd bob for apples and fun stuff. Actually going trick-or-treating. Just don't do much of that fun stuff anymore around here. Of course, the way the world has become, it's kind of hard to do it safely with your children. And you know, with that being said, we lived in uh, Houston, Texas when I was in the 4th, 5th, 6th grade. And the first year that we were there, my brother and I had went trick-or-treating by ourselves. <laughs> I can't believe that. That's just crazy to me. Especially in Texas. And, um, you know, I've always learned if you don't go to houses that don't have the light on. Well, some little kids was going to houses that didn't have their light on. And, um, 
thank goodness I got my little brother by the hand and we didn't go to that house. Because the little kid that went to that house ended up getting a, uh, uh, some apples. They had given apples away for Halloween. And a child had bit down into the apple. And they had put razor blades in it. it it's crazy. I remember kind of hearing about my parents talking about that after the fact. This really crazy, crazy, crazy world we live in. Leave it to some weirdo not to let anybody have any fun, you know what I'm saying? That's the way the world is these days. Back then, too. Can't just let our little people have fun, can they? Oh, there's another seed that I just got walked right away from. daughter has to close tonight. She went in at 4 and she'll work till 11.30. She worked till 11.30 last night and I think she'll work until 9 or 10 tomorrow night. But, you know, that's a school night. So going into the school day for the next day, you know. So I have to look, but I think she closes, possibly closes tomorrow night too. She works at Arby's. She's in the 10th grade and she's 16. I guess I'm going to let her take her driver's test in the Impala soon. So I'm going to have to have her brother drive it with him in it a couple of times. She has the permit. She's had it since February of this year. And she was eligible to take her uh, driving test in August. We just haven't got around with it with all this court stuff going on and stuff. I do believe that was all the C's, folks. Come back tomorrow for a part two. Everybody have a great day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.